Namaste to all my dear friends, brothers and sisters. Today we are going to learn a lot of things about code blocks and how to install it along with some compilers that we are going to work on. Fine. So let's install code blocks. Okay. So going to terminal. Fine. And sorry. Fine. And after going to terminal, let me compress some of the screen so that view is far more better. Okay, so after that, we need to install some of the compilers. Fine, GCC compiler is the primary compiler. Fine, entering some password. Okay, so here you see the GCC compiler has been already installed. Why already installed is because I already installed it so that it doesn't go to internet and keep on downloading the stuff like anything. Fine, and we have to wait and wait and wait and wait. Fine. The another compiler that we actually need is a sudo apt-get. Okay, but before that, let me clear up the screen. sudo apt-get install. Hmm. G++ okay so here you see that G++ has already been installed okay fine the another thing that we actually need is to install sudo okay but before that clear the screen sudo app get install G++ fine we have already installed GPP install GCC now it's time for G++. Fine. Okay. So installing it. You can see over here is also the newest version. Fine. Actually I have downloaded it already so as to cut the time short because it's going to download a lot of bits of data from internet. Also you might be seeing these messages. Fine. These messages are nothing but they have already been uh, non used and been the extra part of operating system so it says that you can auto remove it so as to mm, so as to remove this error or message fine these are the unwanted uh, packages that are actually there in my os fine let's also remove that thing fine this is not a mandatory task that i'm going to fire this task is just to uh, remove this message fine and remove these packages or uninstall these packages from now onwards so i would recommend this command is not important fine so i'm going to auto remove all the packages that are not required by my os it says that if these many mbs will be disk freed i don't mind let's see okay it's getting done okay so you see that entire things are getting generated in a very good fashion generating the grub and everything okay so the next most important thing is installing mingw let me tell you about something about mingw mingw is an uh, operating system or uh, sorry uh, compiler which is used widely in uh, Windows operating system in developer C++ fine so it if it is required that you, you want some of the libraries from mingw fine then you can get it while compiling at that time you do not have to worry that mingw is installed or not fine so I'm going for sudo apt get install mingw fine but before uh, installing mingw I would like to show it to you how many of the packages are available in uh, this PC sudo apt cache search for ming w fine and I'm going to grab 64 bit of version fine let's see okay so I'm going to full screen this window mm, you can see these are the packages that are available for ming w you can install these uh, types of development sorry these are the packages which you can install fine but what we are interested is in this thing mingw64bit 
development environment targeting 32 bit and 64 bit of windows fine uh, why install this thing as i said that it is a very good windows compiler and a lot of uh, developer c++ users might require some of the libraries from mingw so it's a hazard free package fine okay so sudo apt get install ming w64 fine i have already downloaded this thing but with this command you can in download uh, ming w approximately 186 mbs of data it will get downloaded from internet and then it will start installing and installing and installing and installing the process goes on and goes on but you have to make a lot of patience um, be patient and wait for a lot of time to get it installed fine but okay just forgot w over here fine see because uh, the package name is here itself ming w w64 okay so let's install it you can see it has been already been installed <coughs> i have already downloaded it so as to cut the time very short fine and then after i'm going to download and install code blocks which is our main aim to get it installed fine so sudo apt get install code blocks fine but before i do this thing i would make you remind certain steps that i actually did it fine for you all people mm. fine so these are the steps that we actually did it step one was installing gpp step two was installing gcc step three was installing g plus plus step four was to search for mingw fine packages step five was installing mingw fine as you can see it over here and se step six will of course be installing cord blocks fine so are we ready i think so we are ready also one may also fire this command sudo apt get install gpp space gcc space g plus plus space ming w hyphen w64 oops sorry w64 space code blocks fine this command will actually install all the buddies over here fine in short packages over here and then after um, the only drawback of this command is that if say for example I am uh, it's installing GCC and for some moment of time your inter internet gets disconnected then it's of obvious that GCC is not going to get installed but meanwhile after some time your internet gets flushed out and uh, restores your um, data fine and then it starts installing g plus plus it might start install ming w it might start also installing code blocks but at some moment it has not installed gcc and you might have see, forgotten to see these logs that if uh, any error has occurred or something but then it might happen that you might lose gcc as a compiler and code block might not at that time work correctly fine so i insist you to go step by step and install all these things rather than firing this command at once fine okay so now let's start with this thing sudo apt get install code blocks as you can see it's going to download approximately 20 mbs of data fine uh, i mean not 20 mb i think 6 MBs of data fine already it's been downloaded so not a big deal and now it's installing the things you can see the logs fine hmm. also after getting these installed it might happen that you might not get icon in dash fine why because uh, you need to log out and log in so that the entire application gets restarted and dash also gets restarted 
fine or also you can restart your computer so that the entire icon comes over here in this menu fine but anyways in any ways uh, i can make you show that code blocks is not the part of dash right now fine but never mind you can just log out and log come back by logging in you can see then after that it's going to work it over here itself fine but for now how i'm going to start my entire code block is by firing a command okay let me just just a second okay so keeping it over here huh. pick it over here mm. so let's start code blocks code blocks is the command that by which you can run code block also from terminal itself or you can type over here code blocks and run it fine but right now it's not going to run it if not mistaken fine okay but we can run it from here but after logging in and logging out you can get this thing from here itself let's see you can see code block is running let's taste it fine hmm. build okay not build new empty let's test for include stdio.h mtg main huh. return zero also printf hello world this is new ok so going to save it over here in documents it's asked me for replacing it never mind fine ok so i'm going to build first see uh, this is these are my logs so i'm going to build Fine, and then after build, I will build and run the entire file. Let's see. So you can see it over here. The entire code is running all with hello world. Also similar to developer C++, it asks me, uh, it asks me the process has written zero because we have written zero over here. Execution time is approximately 0 0.001 second and press enter to continue. So I think the entire demo is working fine. Thank you all, thank you for watching, but before this thing, I would like to say that if you want to uh, compile for C++, it will work also for the same. Do visit my channel itself and also subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot of videos over there and we will be having a lot of fun. Fine. Thank you, thank you all for watching and being patient. Thank you all.